Hey guys, this is Fairy Kitsune coming at you once again today from hookahpro.com. I told you I had lots of new stuff for the hookah, so lots of reviews. Um, this one's actually a sushi review. We're doing hookah hookah cinnamon. Yes, lovely cinnamon. Um, now, I was kind of hesitant, well, sort of. I bought a whole bunch of tobacco and I was like, well, that sounds kind of good, and that sounds kind of good, and that sounds kind of good. Well, this is one of those ones that it sounded pretty good, and let's see. You know, 50 gram tub only sets me back about three bucks, and if I don't like it, whatever. Um, now, the smell... You know those cinnamon brooms that people put up around Christmas time? This is kind of what it smells like. Like, if you've ever smelled one of those. It's, um... Almost like a big red kind of smell. Like, big red gum. It's not really fake or anything. It's just really strong. Uh, the cut is your typical, you know, hookah hookah cut. As one person called it, it looks like gerbil pellets. Um... It clumps up really well. It's really moist, you know. In the bottom here, we've got, yeah, you know, we got some juice down in the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can. There's uh, some leaking down that back. Um, really fine cross cut. Looks like cigarette tobacco. Um, now I've found a couple of little stems. Like that's a stem right there. It's kind of squishy though, so yeah, I don't know if it really counts as a stem. Uh, but yeah, it's your typical hookah hookah. You know, rarely do you find stems. Um, you know, it's always the same cut, no artificial dyes or anything. I always give them props for that because I hate it when I stick my fingers in a jar of seashell to get some out, and I come out looking like a freaking Christmas tree. Now, it smells really good. How does it taste? Uh, I've had this going for quite a bit. Call it about uh, 45 minutes. And we've got the... Oops. Which way? There we go. Nice, brand new, tri-metal KM. You know, we got the Vortex Bowl on top here with three Chronic Hookah Naturals. Yes, I know, three is a little overkill, but you'll see why. Um, I just started using Chronix uh, about a month ago, and I've played around with them a little bit. And three is a good number for hookah hookah. Now this is why. Hold on, let me purge this out, because I've been sitting here for a few minutes. And that is why we put on three coals. Get the nice, thick smoke. When I first start out, I've got, when they're like brand new, I put two on there. And then as soon as they die down like a little bit, when I ash them the first time, I toss that third one up there that got started at the same time as the first two. And I toss that one up there. And it seems to be the exact right temperature that you need. Um, now I've got a spiral a uh, hole pattern. I just normally do about four rounds of a spiral all the way into the inside and then go back and if I've got any big gaps I punch another one in there. Um, this seems to work fairly well. Um, yeah, nice fake smoke. The flavor It's not like Big Red at all. It's not like it smells. It smells very pungent and very, whoa, right in your face. But the way that it tastes... It's kind of toned down. Now, I've got my Hassan mouth tip on here to get the nice 
tighter pull at the end. And I usually stick my tongue right in front of it, like this, when I pull, so that I get it straight over my tongue as I pull in. But this, the, the, the cinnamon, it's just, like you can taste it, but it's not really that strong. Um, for a spice flavor, this doesn't have anything on Seven Spice by Hookah Hookah. That one will rock your socks. Uh, it's so strong I can't even smoke it straight. I have to mix it with something else. I have to. But this, you can definitely tell that it's cinnamon. And it's a fairly good flavor. But it's not that strong. It's you'd have to mix it with something else. You know, just put a dash of cinnamon in something. You know, like pack up some peach, add some cinnamon. You know, peach pie. Um, although that works really well with Seven Spice. Anyways, um, this it's not like I thought it would be. I was actually scared that it was going to be too strong, especially with the way that it smells. It, whew smells like you just stuck your face in a pack of Big Red. And the way that it tastes is kind of like, oh, is somebody next door cooking with cinnamon? You know, it's that kind of difference. It's a, a gigantic difference. You know, I've been smoking this for about 45 minutes. Um, at the beginning, for about the first 10 minutes, I couldn't taste anything. All I was really tasting was this kind of weird, sweet undertone. Um, then after that 10 minutes, it started to come in very gently. Um, it was more of a, hi, I'm cinnamon, instead of a, whoo, cinnamon. And that's what I was looking for was the, whoa, cinnamon. Um, I really like cinnamon flavored things. You know, cinnamon candy, cinnamon gum, cinnamon in cooking. Um, I've even been known to stick my bottle, stick my finger on the bottle of cinnamon extract and eat it. Um, that's what I was looking for, the in your face. And this is not. This is a, oh, I feel like smoking some uh, mocha. Oh, let's throw a little bit of a cinnamon in there and get some of that nice cinnamon taste. That's what this is. So if this is what you're looking for, it's awesome. Um, if you're looking for a really strong cinnamon flavor, like you're chewing Big Red or eating, like sucking on cinnamon sticks or something, um, this is not what you're going for. Try something else. Um, this is a very toned down cinnamon. So I'm going to give this a, I'll, I'll give it a 5 out of 10, you know, because it's got the big smoke, it's got the thick smoke, it's got a really good smell, it's, you know, good cut, good quality, not a lot of stems, no dyes, but the flavor's kind of lacking. I'll be checking you guys later. Peace.